COVID-19 restrictions are now in place in Illinois. This applies to all counties in our viewing area in the land of Lincoln. Beginning today, bars and restaurants cannot have indoor services. Outdoor bar and dining services must end at 11 o'clock at night. Reservations are required for each party. There will also be capacity limits at businesses and gatherings. This is limited to the lesser of 25 guests or 25% of overall room capacity. The new mitigations do not apply to schools nor polling places. Now, the restriction that's causing the most controversy is indoor dining. While the mandate was in place today, many local restaurants decided to stay open to indoor dining. And businesses we spoke with said they couldn't afford to close up shop. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan tells us about what things are looking like in Richland County. New COVID-19 restrictions went into place today here in Illinois. However, here in downtown Nolly, not much has changed. When the pandemic began, businesses closed down. That shutdown was difficult for restaurants like Hobie's Diner. It was devastating to our business. We literally, I mean, we had to lay off a lot of our staff. The few that we were able to keep on, we had to decrease their hours. Um, our customers was upset because they couldn't come in. We have a lot of people that it, this was their social interaction. Um, it was financially, it was devastating financially. During the shutdown, Hovey's only saw about 20% of its normal sales. Since then, the business has been recovering. With another shutdown being announced, business owner Stacy Dunlap had a tough decision to make. We, we won't survive if we do it again. That feeling is being felt by many around Alney. Locally owned restaurants like Joe's Pizza and HV's Food and Spirits have announced they will stay open, leaving mostly corporate owned businesses following the mandate. Dunlap says her business only stayed afloat thanks to help from a local bank and the Paycheck Protection Program. The Paycheck Protection Program closed at the beginning of August, leaving Dunlap's business and businesses like hers with limited options. I mean, this virus is serious and all the restaurant owners are taking it very serious, but at the same time, I mean, it, we're just beside ourselves with everything, honestly. In Ollie, Gary Bryan, News 10. Another school 